National Eye Center in Kaduna is promoting awareness about the uh, rising prevalence of uh, diabetes, with one in ten people affected globally. The campaign includes a health walk, free screening test, and a lecture on breaking barriers, bridging gaps. In Nigeria, 53.3% of cases are undiagnosed, and the number of patients has tripled in recent years. But we know that these drugs are very e efficacious, but people are not able to buy them now. So what can we do? Can there be some subsidy? You know, those are ways of bridging the gap so that this uh, non-compliance or lo loss to follow up, as we call them, will be taken care of. Even in transportation, there can be subsidy too. You know, those government vehicles that charge less for long distances, it can be helped to bridge the gap so that instead of the person sitting at home on his or her clinic day and cannot come, you bridge that gap where transportation is concerned and the person comes, sees the doctors. If the person is doing well, we say continue with your medications. If it's not, we juggle the drugs, we increase the doses or we change the medications totally so that, you know, the compliance will be better and then the complications that will result. They told us about complications from the public lecture, be it blindness, amputation, strokes, and the rest, heart failure, kidney failure, we can also reduce those complications to the barest minimum. Dr. Abdullah Abdul Rashid emphasizing the significance of our elderly lifestyle and self care in managing diabetes, highlighting the 70% of a rural unaware of rural people unaware of their condition. Uh, in urban cities, urban population, we have a uh, adults, about some percent of them actually diabetes. And uh, in Nigeria, yes, and it is estimated by by year 2030, over 366 million people will have uh, diabetes globally. And uh, as I speak to you about uh, 1 billion audience are targeted for, for today's event, you know, to, to be able to reach out to them and to sensitize them. So by so doing, we believe that, you know, it's one of those means of empowering individuals to actually manage and prevent diabetes. And unlike what used to be that before that, before you have to take drugs, you have to take medications, injections to actually manage diabetes. So we are trying to empower patients now, you know, to take. Diabetes significantly impacts vision leading to blindness. Experts uh, urge Nigerians to undergo regular screenings uh, recommending at least two per year to reduce diabetes rates. Come to the hospital here seeking eye care because of poor vision or even absence of vision at all have resulted from chronic conditions like diabetes mellitus. As a matter of fact, I run a clinic called Metabolic Clinic and in that clinic I see those patients who have come for eye care Upon examining them, we discover that they have very high sugar levels. And so they are referred to us in the clinics, and then we try to control their sugar. For some of them, by the time they attain good control, their vision has already improved. They may not even need further intervention. So this is how much diabetes is linked with eye care. The diabetes, for those who understand a little science, eventually destroys the retina. And from our basic uh, biology, all of us know that the image that we see of everything we use our eyes to see is formed on the retina. So if the retina is destroyed, you cannot form any image. And so if you can't form any image, you are not seeing anything. And that is what blindness is. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.